ask you this question. Do you talk with your Republican colleagues about this issue? Do they say they really believe they don't think we need to do something after the horrific tragedy in Newtown? Well, let me just say that I think it's at their peril that they ignore this issue. Ninety-one percent of Americans say that they want universal background checks. You, it, it's pretty hard to re resist that. And I also uh, want to say, Professor, I think I know there's a gender gap that moms all over this country who identify as Republicans or Democrats or independents don't want to be fearful when their children go to school or to the movies and are ready to rise up and demand that we do something about this. There's an organization called Moms Demand Action. They were up here several weeks ago in Washington, D.C. Phenomenal women who came together to organize after the tragedy in Newtown. And believe you me, these were Republican, Independent, and Democrat women, and they're on the march. They're going to make sure that action is taken in the Congress, and they have to hold their representatives once again. We have to hold our representatives accountable, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents. And so as we talk to Republicans, you know, they may be a little reticent and to move forward. They don't want to do it. Of course, as Congresswoman Schakowsky said, the gun lobby is alive and well. But believe you me, the power of the people and the voices of the people, I think, will ultimately prevail.